Hi folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. You know, all of these reports, all the things that I want to tell you kind of run together because one is related to the other is related to the other. And I recently talked about this algae bloom, this poisonous, poisonous algae bloom that's occurring in waters all over the state. Well, let me tell you about something that I've noticed, and we've talked about this in this you know, the relationship, I'm not really sure here, but but I want to bring this out. You know, we've talked about eating fish. And again, I don't have the answer here of eating fish that are coming out of a poisonous algae bloomed uh, water area. I don't know the answer to that. When you cook them, hopefully you're cooking all the bacteria. The bacteria is being killed. But that isn't really what I wanted to talk about. I, we've talked about eating bass in particular, because bass are really prone to becoming grubby. And certain fish are more prone to have these parasites affect them than others. And smallmouth bass really get, can be affected. Northern pike can be affected. Any fish that is in shallow, warm water areas where there's herons or or kingfishers or some of these birds that seem to be the passers-on of these parasites and it gets in the water and it gets into the fish. Well, we don't want to eat them when they're like that. I have noticed this year that the areas where I've always caught fish that were grubby, that's, I'll use that, that can either be actually a, a like grub, a parasite uh, uh, coming out of it. You can see it, it'd be either yellow or white. It's, it's a worm that wiggles or a ton of black spots and those are tinier parasites, but again, they're the same type of thing. I haven't seen them in so many of the fish that I've caught and released. And the other day, I caught a bass and the hook somehow had got deep in its stomach and it was over the 12-inch limit size. So I killed it, brought it home, filleted it, and I was amazed. The flesh was absolutely free of any parasites. It was unbelievable, just beautiful white flesh. So it, I, I think I think the reason that there's so many less parasites in these fish this year is because unlike other years, we haven't had periods of drought through the summer. The, there was a lot more rainfall. And because of that, the waters, all the tributaries where I fish and where you find these fish, full of these grubs, were higher and probably cooler than they normally get in the summer. And so maybe because of that, these parasites weren't like a plague effect to the fish like they are other summers, and the fish didn't get them. I don't know the answer, but I find it fascinating. If you like to eat fish, they may be better this year than in the past several years because those fish that can become grubby, you can you can have perch that are grubby as can be. They they don't seem to be grubby this year. And I mean, that's a very general observation. I'm sure there's exceptions to this and there's water areas where the fish are really affected. But it's something to be aware of. And if you like to eat fish, we all have the right to do that. I know it's it's a catch and release sport anymore. But still, the roots of fishing were, were a hunter-gatherer type of thing, and we caught fish and we ate them. And so if you like to eat them, they may be safer this year than in the past. Until next time, folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report.